Hey everybody. It's Naj and Jay here and we are with the wonderfully talented <laughs> and patient. <laughs> patient as a teacher. We haven't even talked about his musicianship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Everett. Can Aubrey I call you Mr. Everett. Aubrey yeah, Everett. Yeah. Everett. All right, all right, all right, cool. <laughs> and um, you know, we're here at his school, the Gateway Charter School, and could you so could we start by you explaining what this school is and what your role is here? Well, I am the music teacher here at um, mm -hmm. Gateway Charter School. It was a school founded by, I found Miss Pam Draper. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, it's a place where she looked into something called the lab school, which is the model that uses something called arts integration. Okay. Um, and the simplest way I can put like arts integration is kind of like um, in math, you might get a little bit of music and yeah. art mm -hmm. and, and drama to learn something a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, and it's vice versa. You're also going to get a little bit of history and English and math in your music and mm -hmm. PE in your art as well. So that's kind of the thing that we do here. We have yeah. small class sizes. Um, it's a student where students can be themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I um, can see that. But you have a unique student body here. Can you explain any more about that? Or? Um, you know, I think our students run the gamut, different cultures, different backgrounds, different. It's very diverse. Yeah, different educational needs, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and a lot of them love the arts. Yeah. You know, and they're finding their thing here, their artistic yeah. thing. So that's really cool. What, 
art programs does the school have? Okay, we have um, we have a, we have a lot of less art art wise. So we have a wonderful art teacher, Miss um, Stacy. Um, she's a wonderful art teacher. She has an immense background herself in art. She's an amazing artist. But you saw that. Uh, what was that thing in there? It's a mural with the for we did for Women's History Month, mm -hmm. and those were students. But she oh. had yeah, um, so and she does a lot of amazing stuff. She's very talented, and mm -hmm. we have a lot of teachers here who have musical backgrounds that play saxophone yeah. and sing and, and mm -hmm. you know play and, yeah. <laughs> and then here we have you know as far as the music is concerned, we have like uh, we have a chorus here. Mm -hmm. We have a steel drum band here. We started that a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and we have um, our drum club, our world drum club, where students learn like rhythms from around the world and mm -hmm. try to incorporate mm -hmm. those. And we make it very accessible to them. And they get to express themselves through that. If yeah. you remember seeing them, like some of them closing their eyes and some of them mm -hmm. are like getting into it and sweating and get to, you know, be themselves. And then there's other things that pop up and we try to accommodate. Um, um, I don't know if they told you, the students that were kind of hanging out, they're kind of like my helpers, but they started a band here. Yeah, the oh. one guy was telling me. Yeah, 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 he was saying that. The drummer was saying that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, we do a lot here. Um, part of my curriculum, I teach um, guitar. We're in the guitar unit and ukulele, mm -hmm. and we did a piano unit. And I know Jay was here a while ago when we were teaching songwriting and things like that and how mm -hmm. to work with digital music. So we do a lot of things like that. Wow. And um, we had a student start a band. Like I said, yep. they, they started their band. <laughs> so I want to, I want to make sure that I say from my end. Um, you guys wouldn't realize because you just see him in the classroom and you kind of saw, you know, in the videos of the children performing. But you are a very competent musician. Like yes. over the course of those couple of videos, number one, we know you play keyboards, you're on the drums, mm -hmm. you play guitar, mm -hmm. you understand how to run a steel band. Mm -hmm. So where do you, I mean, where do you get your musicianship from? <laughs> oh, I, um, I grew up in church. Okay. There we um, go. There we go again. Uh, <laughs> you had to learn something, mm -hmm. whether it was organ, guitar. Yeah, we started. I I loved. I always loved music. My parents loved music. Mm -hmm. um, my parents were teachers. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I was always around like they definitely church. I was always yeah. in church and just absorbing all of that and yeah. getting and just there was just something about music. Like you know, I'm I'm just a was always like that I it play sports you. yeah and it yeah. moves you I play sports but at the same time I was just hanging out with the marching band and I would be around that and those type of things so it, it was always always around and I was just always very interested by yeah. it um, I'm just interested in the arts I used to love to draw and paint and you know act and do all types of stuff I'm, you know and mm -hmm. just like you guys know I've been around you guys enough to know it's, it's, it's a whole art it's just not yeah. a music thing it's it's an arts thing. Yeah. You, you just you just have something inside of you that mm -hmm. wants to do it. Um, and but everybody can't do what you do. But go uh, ahead. <laughs> He's a creative. Yeah, yeah and and it's just you know and I and I was you know telling people the other day it depends on where you see me depends on right. what you see me playing. What hat I'm wearing today? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> everybody can't do that. <laughs> so I went to music school too. I can't do that. <laughs> so that's so what I'm it's, it's just a matter of just you know, and I get interested in stuff and picking up instruments and mm -hmm. yeah. and that's always been the case. Oh, this looks neat. Let me just wrap myself into that. I think that's a testament to this school. Yeah. That curiosity and being able to pick up and grab when you are interested in something. Definitely. Um, you know, students take tours here all the time and when they when they come in for a tour, first thing I'm offering is like, play on this drum. Here. Yeah, I'm like, here, try this. You ever seen this before? This is a djembe. Mm -hmm. And they're like, what? <laughs> you know, but you know, it's, it's you know, it's, it's that sort of thing. And students they remember that. They'll come yeah. and say, Remember when I first came, you shoved the drum in my face. And I'm like, I've never seen <laughs> Mm -hmm. But the thing was, when, when I was growing up, that was kind of like, you know, a big no-no. Don't touch those things. Don't yeah. touch this. Don't yeah. touch that. And I want to, you know, but that's what made me a better musician, getting exposure. You know, it was those musicians that said, yeah, this is a bass plugged up into a big amp. Go ahead and try it. This is a Hammond organ. You're not supposed to turn it on. You, I know. But go ahead and try it. See how it sounds. Or, you know, open up the big piano. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It, it's okay. You know, nobody's here. And having that attention to somebody listen to you and, you know, even though you're just clanking away, because yeah. that clank is going to turn into something. So So you're a musician, you're creative. Why a teacher? It helps. It changes lives. Mm. Um, I, if you ask 
anybody that kind of grew up with me or knows. Like I said, we called, my mother was a teacher, my father was a teacher. I have aunts and uncles mm. that were teachers. You know, um, that's kind of known as the family business. I hung, you know, my childhood was spent in school, you know, after school. Mm. So if you ask me what I was going to be when I grew up, <laughs> not a teacher. I would tell you, I don't know what, but not a teacher. Um, but something around helping, finding that bug and, you know, yeah. just, just something about helping young people yeah. find themselves, helping them grow, helping them become better selves. And in turn, that helps me become a better version of myself. So yeah. it, it, it's, it's just in turn. But, you know, being able to be here and seeing how these young people have grown yeah. and find themselves and be comfortable in themselves and be able to express themselves and find something that they never thought they even had inside of them. Yeah. You know, you know, holding chorus auditions and hearing a student that you would never think, well, oh my goodness, yes, you need to be in chorus. For <laughs> real? I'm like, yeah, you could really sing. Nah, yes, definitely. Wow. <laughs> so, I know you're pressed for time, but I also want to make sure I ask this question because this is what I have noticed every time I've come in this building specifically with you. And this isn't a knock on any other teachers, you know what I'm saying? But... I noticed, number one, that when the kids come in here, normally what you expect in a music class or with any kind of arts is for the kids to come in and just be all over the place, just completely wild. They come in here, they're tight, but not like in a very like rigid way. They come in serious to do their work. And, and my question is, how are you able to connect with the kids in the way that you do with music? Because I didn't connect to music until a later age, and I can't help but think that if you were around when I was in school, that I'd be like, I'd have gravitated towards music earlier. So honestly, I know it's a hard question, but like how, what, what's your special sauce in teaching, you know what I mean? I think a lot of students see how passionate I am about it. Because mm. um, mm, I am, I am passionate about it. Yeah. And they know, and they know I'm passionate about making sure they learn. Mm -hmm. um, I always, care. yeah, I care, and I and I let them know first and foremost, I'm here for your education, and yeah. I'm trying to give you the absolute best musical education you can get. No, that so makes me so emotional. <laughs> you don't hear that? Like, let's be real. There are a lot of teachers who are just getting a paycheck. Yeah, yeah. You know, but when you and it makes a difference because then kids know they don't really care about me. Yeah, like, and I, I think that's the thing with here. And that's what kind of makes this place special. Yeah. Um, and they know people care about them. And yeah. they know that... Um, <laughs> there's opportunity. Yeah, there's opportunity. There's opportunity. Just well, we want to thank y'all. They're fine out here. Do you want them to stay out until 3.30 and then for if, me to bring them if, in? If you could pull that off, I would okay. be so Can we come in through this way? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, definitely. Ethan, we need to come back out. Yeah. <laughs> He's okay. He's okay. We're in the middle of a real yeah, this school is real. day. Okay. No problem. Okay. Let's stay out until 3.30, then we're going to come through here and go back to class. That's great. And make sure I remember to give you a radio. No back. problem. And I appreciate you. I owe you one. There Thank you, you so much. <laughs> well, last question. Uh -huh. Why Gateway Charter School? Why not Gateway? <laughs> I, I, I think, <laughs> I think um, just under, like I said, Ms. Draper's vision of what we have here, the staff that we have here, the small class sizes, the teachers that are here and dedicated to what they do. And you. Um, I'm just a small part <laughs> of the role. But, you know, just saying that what we do here is, I think it's amazing work. I've taught other places, and I just think it's a, it's a special blend of people and a special to thing. To your point. I recently did a residency with the kindergarten class yes. here. And not only was I aware of the fact that those kids, it was for a lot of them their first time in the school environment, mm -hmm. but it was a large class who had also been through COVID. Yeah. And that was one of the most well organized and just together group of kindergartners that I've ever worked with. And it should have been the opposite based on what I just said. So that speaks to the school. I mean, from yeah. the top to the bottom here, yep. like uh, all the teachers, all the staff, mm -hmm. um, you saw um, Ms. P, Ms. Parsons was helping out. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of teachers. I had classes during the day and the teachers were just very accommodating. They're like, yeah, we can work it out. We can yep. help out. Um, and, and just seeing, you know, because they know it's for them and that's why the students come in like, yeah, we're, yeah. we're amped up. They're ready. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's a, that's normal thing here. You know, mm -hmm. you can come in on a, you know, random Thursday. Uh, or a random Wednesday, and it's going to be the same exact thing. Yeah. 
yeah. um, with here. I, and I think that's what's special about it. You know, okay. we're, we're all kind of here to see them grow. And we've seen them grow. Like, you know, I'm running into students. Like, um, we went to William Penn um, for, they had a Let's Make Music Festival we got invited to, which was awesome. Oh, wow. And, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there was a couple of us still drums there. And at the school, we're running to former students. And they're oh. like, oh, you got the steel band off the ground. And, uh, oh. you know, and seeing them, just seeing, you know, how yeah. they've come along. I have students now that are, you know, they're at the choir school and they're singing. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, I'm hearing them and they're sending me their recital and they're sounding so amazing. Oh. Um, and I'm like, oh, I have a little bit, yeah. you know, and it, it gives you out of your shell. And that's just, just great to see that kind of thing. So. God, y'all, y'all, y'all literally missed me basically cry when he was when the steel bands were doing their thing. Like it was buckets, I, I, buckets I, of tears. I was a mess and I didn't expect it. And mind you, it was happy music. I was just like, oh, I feel so good right now. And it's like, oh. uh, yeah. it was terrible. The one little awesome. girl got me. The one little girl. Yeah. I was back here like it's so beautiful. I was rocking. Ch I did the church rock. You know, you feel moved. And you just. Uh. Congrats, <laughs> you Mr. Right, right, take your time, baby. Take your time. Take it. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having. Yes, thank you for having us. Yeah, this it was, is it was, so This cute. made my day. So we thank need you. to be in the chorus next year. Oh, yeah. I was the worst chorus student ever oh, in the history of chorus students. Oh, he's gonna get you right. So this would be my redemption because right. when I'm telling you that yes. I gave my chorus teachers hell on purpose mm -hmm. all the time, like I was the no. poster child for that. So you have dunce hats here. You know, I'm gonna get one for him, and then we're gonna be in the chorus. He but that was my it. happy. There you place. go. There you dunce go. hat is my happy hat. No, no, so. we're 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 all accepting here. And the thing is, you <laughs> you, you guys have. An open invitation anytime. To We're going to join the chorus. Hey. I just want to say, I mean, if you want to give me a solo, uh, <laughs> it's totally fine. All right. All right. You got you it. You know, or do it. I've, I've heard you sing before. I, I, can't remember, I, mean, I can't remember where, but I've heard you sing before. A little bit. <laughs> like, you know, Jay, we're going we're gonna to get you right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We love you so much. Why Gateway? Why not? Why not? Everybody, this is Jay with Naj and Jay, and I am sitting here right now with three students from the Gateway Charter School, and they asked to be interviewed. So, would you guys like to introduce yourselves to the camera first and tell the people who you are? I'm Lewis. Okay. I'm Nylon. Mm-hmm. I'm Leslie. And so I have a question. Yeah. My question is, what do you think about Mr. Everett? Pretty I good. think he's a really cool awesome. teacher, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've learned to sing better. It's really out being in chorus. Mm -hmm. I've learned to sing in front of an audience. Oh. And and how does it feel to learn how to sing in front of an audience? Kind of I mean, cool. I mean, it feels pretty good because I went to the last concert and I was like so ready to do it. Yeah. So okay. it feels pretty good. And now that I'm actually ready for the crowd. Okay. Now, since I saw like 15 different ensembles over the past hour, are you guys only in chorus, or were you at the other two uh, also? I'm, in, I'm only I'm in chorus. In you were in steel drum. That was really cool. That blew I'm my mind. I'm in drum club and chorus. Okay. What's your favorite? Uh, both. Okay. That's fair. Fair enough. Because drum club mm -hmm. is hitting drums, and chorus is singing. Your right. Why do you like hitting the drums? I don't know. Yeah. Something that you can't explain. It's just, yeah, no, that's fair I like enough. doing chorus only because it's for me to do my passion to sing and what's to your, learn. Okay. What's your favorite song to sing? Fly Away Home. Yeah. It was, no, her, our song. It, well, yeah. it was going to. So, you did an amazing job with your yeah. song. That was fantastic. Do you, do you enjoy singing in front of people? Yeah. yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Why? Because. It's a hard it's, question. Because it just feels like when they're watching you, they're actually enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I definitely enjoyed it. Her. When she was sitting there uh, just smiling at everybody, it's like she's enjoying it. Mm -hmm. It's like you can get more all energy. And like, depressed and sitting, like, not listening to it, being on their phones. You can just tell. But if being on their phones, I heard that. Absolutely. But if they're, like, rocking and stuff, you can tell that they're enjoying it, and you can actually in introduce yourself to the crowd. Mm-hmm. Okay, so and if they're just sitting there, not showing any emotions, they're not liking the music. So what do you do if you see that's happening? What 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 can you do in that situation? Uh, normally, oh, you would, your emotions would change while you're doing the song, okay. and it'll just. But you'll keep going. You, you keep going, you just never right? Give up. Yeah, you, you never give up. Exactly. Because as long as like, you know that some people are out there smiling, you can't never give up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite singer? I don't have a favorite singer. I have a couple of them. 
have a couple of them. Who are they? My I have like Mariah Carey, Everett. Beyonce. <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Everett. Mariah Carey, Beyonce, Mr. Everett, and. Mr. Everett, Keys. let me give y'all twenty dollars now. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mr. Mr. Everett can hit the high notes. Oh really? I haven't yeah. heard Mr. Everett hit the high the notes. Low ones. The low ones. Okay. Last question for you guys. How do you like the Gateway Charter School, and why do you like it? He does not like it. I enjoy experimenting new things, and I think me coming to a my a cool school. And being able to actually do chorus and being to enjoy everything here, I feel like I really enjoyed my year. I don't know if I'll be here next year, but I feel like this is a school I would rather go to again. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's like I have a lot of friends. I'm doing things that I've always wanted to do. I've never been in front of a crowd actually singing, but this school has helped me go through that. That's so. awesome. Um, I like Gateway because it's kind of like... Like last year, when I was in fifth grade, there wasn't all these different things before middle school. Mm -hmm. Like, I was in a different school before I came here, mm -hmm. but there's not a bunch of stuff like here. Like, there's not steel band, chorus, or drum club. Yeah, you have a lot of music so at this school. There's only, there's only instruments like, like that I couldn't play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to be... Like, got like MTSS and stuff. I didn't get a good grade, so I didn't get to play that. Mm, that's all right, but you're having fun doing this. Mm -hmm. All right. And at my old school, I didn't used to get good grades, and this school has really helped me, and now I get really good grades. I have honors. How has the school helped you? Like, the teachers and stuff, they, like, explain things more. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. like, they can just help you with anything you need help with. Take, for example, Mr. Everett. He Mr. has Ever helped us, us through the whole journey of our songs, and he never gives up on us. He and just he gives helps. us time and explains yeah. things. Yeah. I love that you just called learning a song a journey. I think that's fantastic. I think that's 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 fantastic. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, you don't I, have to know. I'm just curious. I would be a singer, actually. Okay. Okay. I what about like, you? I feel like that would be a my singer. passion. Singer. And you, sir? Uh, guitarist. Okay. So all also, music. All Guitarist and me. singing, you know, country stuff or something like that. Okay, I it's love like it. It's like singing is like everything I love. I just yeah. Sometimes I just want to sing my little heart out. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm is there anything else that you all would like to tell the people before we end in this little interview? Um, you can actually make it even if you don't want to do anything. Come to Gateway. <laughs>
Thank you.